hi guys welcome to this african perspective thank you all for stopping by make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here all right guys this might be one of the craziest adoption story that you might have ever heard of or probably not but either way let's get right into it Okay, to preface this story, when I say mom and dad, I'm referring to my adopted parents because they're my mom and dad. So, my mom and dad were like looking for a baby, um, trying to adopt because my mom couldn't have kids anymore. She was a little older um, and had some health issues. So, my mom started going to the psychic, which is so random because my family is like very Christian. Um, and basically, the psychic like told her things about my brothers, my three brothers that my mom had from a previous marriage. Like, one of them was going to have terrible financial issues, the other really bad health issues, and the other be a successful businessman. And flash forward to today, that all came true. Like, it's all true. So anyway, um, the psychic told her to go to this random place um, in Washington, Pennsylvania. We, I'm from Morgantown, West Virginia. Um, so it's like 45 minutes away from where I'm from. So my parents like rolled up, went to this random address that the psychic gave and they walk into this like warehouse and there was like a, it was like a meeting and there's this big meeting where people were kind of like sharing their problems and like talking about their problems. So there were like 50 people in the meeting and the lady running the meeting was like, Hey, who wants to go first? So this white, like Italian Polish woman raised her hand and she was like, Hey, so I'm white. I'm married to a white guy. I have three white kids but I cheated on my husband with a black guy and now I'm pregnant and I'm gonna have this mixed baby and my family's racist, I can't afford it, me and my husband can't afford it. Um, so I wanna give the baby up for adoption, I don't know what to do. And then my mom and dad looked at each other and they were like, holy shit, there's our baby and it was me. So my biological mom told her whole family that I was a stillborn whenever I was born, which is crazy because she literally gave me up for adoption. But what's even crazier is that she said that her family members and friends were sending like balloons and flowers and stuff to the hospital grieving the loss of her stillborn but meanwhile you know she gave me up for adoption to my parents so a lot of you guys asked me if i hated my birth mother for telling her friends and family that i was a stillborn but the answer actually might shock you so when i first met her and she told me that obviously i was shocked and in my head at the time i was like that's kind of fucked up like that's a big lie to tell everybody in your life that you're close to years go by and i think about it and i came to the conclusion that she was doing the absolute best she could and mind you she cheated on her husband she was trying to raise three kids she was pregnant with somebody else's baby like that's a lot of stuff to deal with and so i can't even imagine being in her shoes at that point in time her giving me up for adoption was hands down the hardest thing up until that point in her life she had to do am i a firm believer in always telling the truth yes but do I judge her for not telling the truth? Absolutely not, because sometimes we're all human, we all make mistakes, and we are just all trying to do the best that we can, and that's exactly what my birth mother was doing. So do I hate her? No, absolutely not. I could never hate her for that, and I could never hate her in general, because at the end of the day, she gave me to the two greatest people to ever walk on the planet, and that's my mom and dad. Okay guys, so this is what my adopted mom would do twice a year for my birth mom. So my mom saw how hard it was for my birth mom to give me up for adoption, so she was like, okay, I'll make you a deal. Every six months, I'll send you a picture of Alicia and a little update in a written note, in a written card of how she's doing. But since my birth mom was planning on telling her whole family and all of her friends that I was a stillborn, she didn't want the cards coming to her house. Simply because she had three children already and she didn't want them to go through the mail and find out about me. So my birth mom actually told my mom, she said, hey, I would love the updates, but just send it to my best friend's house. So my entire life, every six months, my mom said every June and every December, she would send my birth mom a picture of me like a school picture and then a dance picture with an update on how I'm doing just in life which I think is just so beautiful and I actually didn't know this until I was almost 18 years old so I didn't realize that my birth mom was actually watching me grow up my whole life so I actually met my birth mom the day before I turned 18 and it definitely did not go how I expected so my whole life I kind of had this idea that when I met my birth mother it was going to be this beautiful magical thing and I would you know feel a strong connection to her but when I met her I literally felt nothing 
So I actually met her in a Panera Bread, which is really funny, but it was in Washington, PA, because it was like a halfway point of where I grew up in Morgantown, West Virginia, and she lived in Pittsburgh. And it's so crazy because I just remember on the way there, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, this is the moment it's happening. Like, I was really freaking out. And then when we parked the car and I got out, I remember my legs were shaking and I was so nervous. And we walked into the Panera. My parents knew what she looked like, but I had no idea. So I'm just looking around at every woman trying to see who looks like me to figure out what, what my, who my birth mother is. And then I hear my mom say, hello. And I turn and I look and I see her. And I thought I was gonna have this huge emotional connection, but honestly, it was just like looking at another woman. And I thought that I was gonna be the one like in tears bawling, but when her and my mom hugged, they had a long, long, long embrace and they were both bawling their eyes out and I was just kind of standing there like, uh, you know, obviously it's emotional, but I just didn't feel that at all. But I remember looking at her because I had never in my life been able to be like, oh, I have, you know, my mom's eyes, my dad's nose, X, Y, and Z. And I was just like scanning her like up and down, but there was no real emotional connection there. It wasn't until I got through the list of questions that I made to ask her that I started crying. And I got through the list of questions that I had for her and I just said, thank you. Thank you for giving me up to the two best people that I know, the two greatest parents that have done everything for me, the most loving family. She gave me to the most loving family that a girl could ask for. And I just really, really stressed how grateful and thankful I was for her for giving me up for adoption. And that just that's what made me more emotional. But when I met my birth father, that's when I felt a crazy connection. Oh, and if it's right. me if my biological mother's husband at the time knew that I was actually adopted and not a stillborn and the answer is yes he was one of two people that knew the actual truth if you're new here I was adopted the day that I was born by my two amazing parents but my biological mother told her whole family and all of her friends that I was a stillborn the reason my biological mother's husband knew that I was actually being adopted was because she felt like she had to tell him. She did tell him the truth that she cheated on him with a black guy and at the time they had three children and they all believed up until recently that I died when I was born. And the craziest part about that whole thing to me is that they ended up staying together for like 11 years. They didn't get a divorce because of the fact that she cheated on my biological father. They were able to stay together and work through the infidelity, but the one thing that I know that he did say was that he was absolutely not gonna raise me, which made me feel a type of way. 